The Lord be with you. A blessed day of Epiphany to you on this Friday, January 6th, the day of Epiphany. We have our daily prayer today. As always, we follow the noon prayer, Lutheran Service Book, page 296. The daily lectionary, also from the Lutheran Service Book, page 299. So let us hear God's word together and pray together on this day that we celebrate our Lord's Epiphany. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading continues in the prophet Isaiah, the 66th chapter, verses 1 through 20. Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What is the house that you would build for me? And what is the place of my rest? All these things my hand has made, and so all these things came to be, declares the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look. He who is humble and contrite in spirit, and trembles at my word. He who slaughters an ox is like one who kills a man. He who sacrifices a lamb like one who breaks a dog's neck. He who presents a grain offering like one who offers pig's blood. He who makes a memorial offering of frankincense like one who blesses an idol. These have chosen their own ways, and their soul delights in their abominations. I also will choose harsh treatment for them and bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not listen. But they did what was evil in my eyes and chose that in which I did not delight. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word, your brothers who hate you and cast you out for my name's sake. Have said, let the Lord be glorified that we may see your joy but it is they who shall be put to shame. The sound of an uproar from the city, a sound from the temple, the sound of the Lord rendering recompense to his enemies. Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came upon her, she delivered a son. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall a land be born in one day? Shall a nation be brought forth in one moment? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the point of birth and not cause to bring forth? Says the Lord, shall I, who cause to bring forth, shut the womb? Says your God, rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, that you may nurse and be satisfied from her counseling breast, that you may drink deeply with delight from her glorious abundance. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream. And you shall nurse, you shall be carried upon her hip, and bounced upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem, you shall see, and your heart shall rejoice, your bones shall flourish like the grass, and the hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants, and he shall show his indignation against his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come in fire, and his chariots like the whirlwind, to render his anger and fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire will the Lord enter into judgment, and by his sword with all flesh, and those slain by the Lord shall be many." Those who sanctify and purify themselves to go into the gardens, following one in the midst, eating pig's flesh and the abomination and mice shall come to an end together, declares the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts, and the time is coming to gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and shall see my glory. And I will set a sign among them, and from them I will send surveyors to the nations, to Tarshish, Pool, and Lud, who draw the bow to Tobul and Javan, to the coastlands far away, that have not heard my fame or seen my glory. And they shall declare my glory among the nations, and they shall bring all your brothers from all the nations as an offering to the Lord on horses, and in chariots, and in leaders, and on mules, and on dromedaries, to my holy mountain, Jerusalem, says the Lord, just as the Israelites bring their grain offering in a clean vessel to the house of the Lord. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our New Testament reading, we continue in the Gospel of St. Luke, today chapter 3, verses 21 through 38. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about thirty years of age, being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph, the son of Hillel, son of M- the son of Matat, the son of Levi, the son of Melka, the son of Jana, the son of Joseph, the son of Matthias, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Esli, the son of Nagai, the son of Math, the son of Matthias, the son of Simon, the son of Johesh, the son of Jodah, the son of Joanan the son of Risha, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shiltil, the son of Neri, the son of Melke, the son of Adai, the son of Kosem, the son of El-Madam, the son of Er, the son of Joshua, the son of Eleazar, the son of Jorim, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Johnham, the son of Elakim, the son of Mili, the son of Mina, the son of Matatha, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salah, the son of Nashon, the son of Amadab, the son of Edomon, the son of Aaroni, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahor, the son of Surig, the son of Reu, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Canaan, the son of Arpachadad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The devotional writing for this day of Epiphany is from one of the church fathers, Gregory of Nazinus. Jesus goes up out of the water, for with himself he carries up the world, and sees heaven opened, which Adam had shut against himself and all his posterity, as the gates of paradise by the flaming sword. And the Spirit bears witness to his Godhead, for he descends upon one that is like him. So also does the voice from heaven... For Jesus came from heaven, witness to his Godhead, and the Spirit comes like a dove, for he honors the body of Jesus. For this also was God through its union with God, so the Spirit is also seen in a bodily form. Moreover, the dove has from distant ages desired to proclaim the end of the deluge. But if you are to judge the Godhead by bulk and weight, and the Spirit seems to you a small thing because he came in the form of a dove, O man of contemptible littleness of thought concerning the greatness of things, you must also be consistent, despise the kingdom of heaven because it is compared to a mustard seed. And you must exalt the adversaries above the majesty of Jesus because he is called a great mountain and Leviathan, king, king of that which lives in the water. Whereas Christ is called the lamb and the pearl and the drop of rain that comes from heaven and similar names. We pray, O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 6, And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like the pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. For our Father knows what you need before you ask him. This then is how you should pray. Hearing Jesus' words, we are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We pray for those who have requested prayer here at Christ our Savior. We lift to God in prayer that his will be done for 
Art and Rick, Melissa and Helen, Clifford and Ellie, Dave and Rob, Christy and Art, Marilyn and Colleen, Arlene and Chris. O Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all of our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>